So I've talked about the uh, primary chip formation, uh, and then we have secondary conversion. And without wishing to go into too much detail about this, we can either use some sort of cutting process. We can use knives, um, or we can use an attrition process, attrition process of some description where we're kind of grinding the chips or rubbing the chips against the surface. Um, or we can use a hammering process. And these are used like a hammer mill. Um, there are advantages and disadvantages to all these processes, but I won't go into the detail of those here. Um, so the idea is to try and get a more uniform chip property. So the sort of thing we're worried about here uh, if we're then going to go on to a process where those chips are either going to be used to make chipboard or they're going to be uh, ground down in a, uh, a refiner to make um, fibres for MDF is having some sort of uniform chip size, some sort of uniform property to the chips. Uh, one of the very important considerations when making particle board is that we need to know how absorbent the surface of the chip is going to be. Because what we want to do if we're going to glue chips together is we want to have glue on the surface and not glue on the inside. Because glue on the inside is not going to stick chips together, it's just going to waste money. So we want a surface that's sufficiently broken up to be able to accept the glue and act as an efficient bonding surface. We don't want a smooth, glassy surface covered in lignin that's really not going to be very amenable to being wetted up by the adhesive. But at the same time, we don't want it so super absorbent and super full of cracks and holes that the glue just disappears inside and we waste an awful lot of money just having the glue disappear. So it's trying to get that balance right. So that's really what this secondary conversion process is about. It's trying to get some sort of reproducible behaviour in the surface of the chips. Size is a very important consideration with chips and in order to make sure we have uniform sizes we use some sort of screening process and most commonly the sort of screening processes that are used are very large tables which may have holes in or they may have slots or we may have a, an open mesh type of screen and quite commonly we will have a combination of these. So these would obviously a table like that with very small holes is going to be collecting a lot of large particles and they would be coming off there. I've drawn, drawn these with a slope deliberately because the ones that don't go through the holes will drop off. So in all probability something like that would be at the bottom Something like that might be near the top. This would probably be right at the top because something like that is not very selective. Nearly everything's going to fall through there. So you're just going to remove large pieces of wood, maybe branches and knots or whatever. So there's quite a bit of thought goes into this process of screening. Um, there are other ways of separating out particles as well, but these are quite often used for some sort of primary um, what's called a classification process. And classification means separating out into classes. So we're separating the chips into maybe on the basis of length or the basis of weight or the basis of size or some other such property. So this is a sort of primary classification, classification process. Um, and I will now talk about a secondary classification process.